What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed, bringing you guys our WBE Season 2 Draft Analysis, Team Breakdown, whatever you want to call it. We are here with the 11 Pokemon that we have, the 12 or so Pokemon, whatever whatever, whatever we may have. We've got our Pokemon and our Z-Crystal here. We've got our team for WBE. The draft, uh, the draft stream was just earlier over on Dan's stream. If you guys are excited for this and you guys are some proud supporters of the Detroit Type and all, go ahead and show some love on that like button down below. Of course, if you guys are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. It's going to be kind of casual as far as my, like, Sometimes I go really in depth into it, and I'm gonna try not to because it's like a really it's a for fun league. But I I still might get really really into it. So we'll see we'll see what happens right here. Um, so some rules about WBE in case you guys are new uh, to draft formats, comparison to other drafts that have happened on the channel that we've done draft analysis for. Um, what happens in WBE is that we are required to draft one Z crystal and that Z crystal is the only Z move we can use. So typically you want to draft either a team around that or draft one Z crystal that, you know, uh, certain Pokemon on your team can use just as like wall breaking stuff. Another rule is that when you draft a mega Pokemon, you can either have that Pokemon hold the mega stone or the Z crystal. So, uh, for instance, the first overall pick was mega Latios, uh, or mega Latios that removed mega Latios from the draft pool because that coach has access to both Latios and mega Latios holding whatever z stone that that or the z crystal which that uh that coach drafted so uh we had fourth overall i felt like it was a cool place it's like kind of almost a wheel in a sense um had to make some uh had to make some moves had to make some plays around just to um let me let me get another another thing open up over here because i've got some more information on stuff that i will talk about for my team on my own little drafty sheet right here so um we had like i said we had fourth overall and the first two picks were both megalotti and both megalotties and then tapu coco so uh, i wanted a pokemon that is i think first round is the time where you draft a pokemon that everybody always has to prepare for no matter what um I don't think it should ever be a Pokemon that you think, oh, this isn't easy. Here's my one dedicated Pokemon for this. I think it should be a Pokemon where you need to almost identify like a specific wall just to deal with like variations of that Pokemon. So I figured the best route to go around that was with uh, our Titan Curum Black here. Um, actually, this is the Mad Titan because I love Avengers Infinity War. This is Mad Titan, the Curum Black. Uh, Curum Black has great typing in both Dragon and Ice. It has the Terravolt ability. This Pokemon's moves and their effects ignore the abilities of other Pokemon. So something to note is that um, I ignore every single... So I, I ignore abilities pretty much. So I can break down things down through Sturdy. I can hit Levitate Pokemon. Things like that. Just as far as Pokemon. Um, just as things. you can. If you guys can think of some other like very common examples that I can't think of right out the gate feel free to let me know in the comment section down below because that might help me out for my own draft nature but um in recent leagues i've been having a lot of people help me with drafts and stuff like just figuring stuff out and um it ended up not really being my play style and i think my whole draft really fits my play style and i think something like Kieran black really fits my play style as well um let's take a look at its stats here really quick you guys can see it's got a base hp of 125 base attack of 170 pause base attack of 170 not many pokemon in this format have that high of an attack stat to begin with uh great uh great great natural bulk i mean it has two stats below b below 100 but even then i mean base special defense of 90 it's got great natural natural bulk just based off its typing and its resistances um the speed's a little bit lackluster typically for a pokemon um if you want like a wall breaker typically i like it was brought up in the draft stream to um, 100 and above is like really is like technically fast. 95 is still pretty, pretty swift. You know, obviously we're not speeding everything at space 94 and below, but um, it's also very easy. It also locks Cure and Black in a position where in order to outspeed base 100s, you know, we are required to wear something like a scarf or we are required to get some sort of speed boosting with. And we'll talk about that later. Um, I guess we can talk about that right now because you guys see the four moves that are on the screen right there. Um, but overall, the very last end of the round, I drafted ICMZ. And so going into each one of my Pokemon, I'll talk about that. That was the game plan the entire time. As soon as I drafted Kieran Black, I wanted ICMZ because Free Shock, ICMZ, uh, Free Shock, Signature Move, Base 140 Power, top that off with, like, Stab Boost, and top that off with the fact that it's a Z move. I mean, it just... Like, it just doesn't have a switch in. So that's one of the reasons why I really liked Kieran Black. But when I talk about speed boosting moves, Z-Hail also raises your speed by one stage as well, which is really, really cool. 
um, being able to potentially bring that and then outspeed other Pokemon outside of needing a scarf. But Kieran Black is so very, very cool with its natural bulk. It's got great typing, um, and we can talk about We guys can see here, these are, these are like four common ice moves you can see ran, you know. Z Freeze Shock almost 100% of the time just because its attack stat is so off the chart, but you can also run specially with like Z Blizzard or Z Ice Beam depending on the situation, depending on what move you're going to be wanting to be running after you burn your Z Crystal. And then like I said, Z Hail does raise your speed stat by, it does raise your speed stage, but let me, let me just double check that really quickly because otherwise somebody is going to roast my existence. Let me double check that. Uh, hail move. Um, uh, generation four is onwards. Yep. If they're powered up by ICMZ to Z hail, the user speed stat raises by one stage. So just wanted to make sure that I was on board with that. Um, but we can take a look here and see some of its other moves that it has. Draco Meteor. Dragon Claw, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Sail, Earth Power. It can be an Endeavor user as well. It does get access to moves like Flash Cannon and Focus Blast. Fusion Bolt is really cool for being able to take care of like bulky waters, which would appreciate this otherwise. That's really, really cool. It can boost its own attacks with Hone Claws. Um, Hyper Voice, maybe, I don't know. Um, Iron Head, it can set up screens, Light Screen and Reflect, Curum Black, hello. Um, Outrage, it gets Psychic. Rock Slide, it gets Reliable Recovery and Roost, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw, Signal Beam, Stone Edge, it can obviously set up subs, it can toss Toxics, it gets Zen Headbutt, Ancient Power from Feeling Mimi, Brutal Swing, I don't think there's anything down here, Flynium Z Cure in Black, that's what I need to, that's what, that's what needs to be ran right there. Um, Icy Wind for Speed Control is also something that's really, really cool too, Rock Tomb again for Speed Control, Noble Roar, uh, being able like, like a parting shot that you don't switch out on, that's pretty cool, lowering the attack and the special attack by one stage is really, really nice. Um, Steel Wing, Things like that, but typically all of these moves up here, what you're going to see ran, maybe some niche sets down below, but just hits so very, very hard, and you get to access to a lot of really hard-hitting moves that take advantage of that base 170 attack and uh, base 120 special attack. So coming back around, um, the fact that this was on the board to this day blows my mind. So we allowed Mega DNC in League format, and I'll go ahead and toss up Gemstone here. Um, but I wanted like a really powerful fairy steel dragon core and originally it was like, you know, what about Kieran Black, Sylveon, and Mega Aggron? What about Kieran Black? Originally like Latias, Sylveon, and Mega Aggron was going to be the play, but as soon as Lottie was off the board, I was like, alright, we need to get a better dragon. Um, uh, Mega Gardevoir was taken, so like Sylveon was around, and with Mega Gardevoir being taken, that removed Gardevoir, so like Sylveon was there. Um, what else? I think both the Tapus were gone. But I, I, I was like, we Mega Deancey's still around. I don't know why that is. So I have incredible, incredible wall breaking potential with these two Pokemon right here. We have Gemstone, the Mega Deancey. Uh, prior to Mega Evolution, um, we have, I believe, Sturdy and Clear Body. But then after Mega Evolution, we have the Magic Bounce ability which uh, blocks certain status moves and bounces them back to the user. It also deters uh, hazards as well. So somebody going for a Toxic, a Thunder Wave, a Will-O-Wisp, or a, you know, like a Yawn maybe, those are all bounced back. Um, going for things like Sticky Web Spikes, Toxic Spikes, and Stealth Rocks, those are all bounced back. Parting Shots, Roar, all that fun stuff, those are bounced back as well. So you guys can see that it's got good bulk in 110 defense, special defense, but it only has 50 base HP in order to abuse that. So it doesn't really, you know, it is very glass cannony um, after Mega Evolution. But some of the things that we can do before Mega Evolution, boop, is that obviously we we have the uh, we have the ability to have um, Clear Body as well. I believe it also. I'm pretty sure DNC gets sturdy. Pretty sure, unless I'm wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I'm wrong until proven otherwise. But um, one of the cool things about that is we can get slow moves off with that DNC and then Mega Evolve and top up because of the uh, the, the Mega Evolution buff in Gen 7. Uh, we now do get our speed, so 110 base speed is really nice. There's not, you know, obviously there's your there's your Jolteons, you know, there's your there's your other Megas that do a, go above 110. There's your Raikus, your uh, your Weaviles, your Sneasels, things like that that go above or around 110. So this does flush out our speeds. Here's a little bit. Rock and Fairy typing is really cool. And we can take a look at its uh, move pool right now. So it does have access to set up the Calm Mind, which is fantastic because 160 base special attack with a Calm Mind that just becomes just the ultimate wall breaker, especially with that speed. Um, Dazzling Gleam, but it also does have the Moonblast down here for stronger base 95. Um, originally, it only had access to Diamond Storm as powerful stab, Diamond Storm or Ancient Power, but with Ultra Sun and Moon and Move Tutors, it did get access to Power Gem through the special side. So originally, you would see something like a mix set with Diamond Storm ran, and while it does still have that base 100 power um, that you can take advantage of that 160 attack for, it didn't have like, you know, like I'm pretty pot. Yeah, I was about to say it didn't get like a fairy type move to balance that. So it was obviously seen as more of a special wall breaker, but being able to hit things with um, 
with Diamond Storm is really cool. 50% chance to raise the user's defense by two stages for each hit. So 95% accurate move that can double my defensive stat. That's incredible. Even with the base 50 HP, even with that plus two defense boost, that's really awesome. Earth powers kind of help deal with the steel types that otherwise plague this thing. We obviously do have a four times weakness to steel. Kieran Black does share that weakness, so that is something we're going to want to patch up eventually. It can be a really good Endeavor user. I've seen a lot of sub-Endeavor Mega Dancey sets before. It can explode if you want to. 160 base attack explosion. That's going to poke some holes. Um, it is a cleric as well, being able to go for heal bell. Kieran Black doesn't appreciate burns. You guys can obviously see the Pokemon above us, uh, up top. Um, there are some other Pokemon there that don't appreciate burns or toxics as well to wear them down. Obviously, Tech Hidden Powers. Again, another Pokemon to be able to set up screens, which is really, really nice. Moon Blast, Power Gem, like I said, having access to that in Ultra Sun and Moon is really cool. Psychic, Psy Shock. It can set up with Rock Polish. This Pokemon already has base 110. Now you want to give it Rock Polish? Bruh. Rock Slide, it can set up its own rocks, it can Stone Edge, like I said, Substitute as well is something really good to do with that. Um, it can also use Toxic, I don't think there's anything down here that I would ever... Gravity maybe might be like a niche move just to help out with like Landorus Therians and stuff. Magnet Rise could be something that's really cool too. Psych Up, being able to copy the target's current stat changes, so like a Coal Mine Suicune, I just go into Mega Dancy and click Psych Up, and now that's my stat changes too. Um, really, really nice. Skill swap being able to trade abilities, so like a pure power mon, we're able to take that away from, which is really cool because that then cripples them. Uh, Smackdown, again, similar to gravity, removing the target's ground immunity can be very, very nice. Um, Trick Room, it also is a Trick Room setter and a Wonder Room setter, just in case either of those things. I probably like Trick Room or if anything, um, just as like a fast Trick Room setting could be really, really cool. Um, and then that does allow some of our slower Pokemon a bit more access. So I really like Mega Dancy. I think it's a really cool Pokemon to have. I think that it has tremendous wall breaking potential on top of Curum Black. So um, something to note right now is that I don't appreciate rocks and I don't appreciate steels and I don't appreciate grounds. So next up here, Noodle the Tangrowth. She is beautiful. She is wonderful. She is our third overall pick. Uh, doesn't get any moves to abuse our ICMZ, but uh, she does have the access to the regenerator ability, which is really, really cool. You guys can take a look at those stats right there. So typically with Tangrowth, you see like an Assault Vest being ran because it only has base 50 special defense. Um, it does definitely have some really, really good coverage moves, both on the physical and the special side. Things like Brick Break, things like Earthquake, things like Energy Ball, things like Focus Blast, Giga Drain for the recovery, Grass Knot for the heavier Pokemon is really cool. Does have access to Knock Off. It gets recovery through Morning Sun, which is really, really nice. Leech Seed, Leaf Storm, Pain Split recovery as well is really interesting. Poison Jab and Power Whip. It can set up its own Reflex, which is really nice for like physical fire types that we're going up against. Rock Slide, Seed Bomb, it can go for Sleep Powders and go for Stun Spores, it tosses off Sludge Bombs, it can set up with Swords Dance, Swords Dance Tangrowth, Swords Dance Chlorophyll Tangrowth, tell me I'm not real. It can uh, also recover through Synthesis as well. Tossing off Toxics, I don't think there's anything down here too much. Cursing maybe, like Curse Tangrowth maybe. Um, but other than that, nothing too crazy. Psych Up as well can copy the target's current stat changes is also really, really cool that we can, uh, we can just do that. Stomping Tantrum, another move, just in case that's a thing. Um, worry Seed, the target's ability becomes Insomnia. That's another thing, being able to remove abilities that could otherwise hinder our team. Uh, being able to put Insomnia on those is really, really cool. Like I said, it's just, it's got some really cool coverage moves. It's got the bulk, you know, to base 100 HP, 125 defense. It's got good offenses in both 100 attack and 110 special attack. Not too fast, but it's supposed to be a wall. Like, it's supposed to be a little bit more of a defensive Pokemon, but it does have the option to be that physical Pokemon that we do need it to be. So, <clears throat> Um, as of right now, um, Mega Scissor has been drafted. Mega Scissor absolutely eradicates my first three Pokemon. Enter Aquarius the Vaporeon. Aquarius has access to the water absorbability, giving me a water immunity, helping out with Deancey's water um, weakness. Uh, it also is very bulky with 130 base HP, which is just absolutely nuts. Um, it can toss wishes into things like Kieran Black, which, you know, if Scarf don't have access to go for Roost. Um, 130 base HP going for a wish. That's reviving Mega Dancy at the full every time. Same thing with Tangrowth as well. Being able to toss wishes into Tangrowth on top of its own regenerator ability is really, really cool. You guys can see I've got four moves here that could potentially abuse our ICMZ. Z Haze, removing stat changes and uh, healing our Pokemon all the way back up to full is really cool. Z Blizzard um, and Z Ice Beam, again, both really hard hitting moves. And then Z Hail being able to raise the speed stat by one and then also setting up the hail. So we can take a look at some of its other moves here. It does have access to Baton Pass, which is really, really cool, being able to give us just a little bit more turn momentum. We don't have any turn momentum just yet as far as U-turn and Volt Switch. So being able to Baton Pass into Pokemon like Curum into Deancey can be very, very nice. Um, even a slow one at that. It does have base 65 speed, so we will be able to get a little bit more of a slow baton pass off. It's another cleric user. Excuse me, just in case Mega Dancy doesn't want to run Heal Bell. We can shrug off Toxics and Will-O-Wisps on things like Curum. 
and on things like the uh, gosh diggity darn tag growth right there. Hydro Pump, Hyper Voice, Ice Beam, um, Protect, Quick Attack, Reflect. It can set up Reflex. Um, it does have Refresh, but typically you'll run Heal Bell over Refresh every time. It can phase things out with Roar, which is really nice. It does have Scald, best move in the game, 30% chance to burn. Shadow Ball and Signal Beam are really cool. Um, being able to Surf as well, being able to pass Wishes. Like I said, 50% of the user's max HP is restored, so tossing off an HP, tossing off a Wish from a max HP Vaporeon is very nice for healing up some of our Pokemon that don't necessarily have that abusable HP stat. Another thing it does have, it does have things like Acid Armor, which we can Baton Pass. Um, we can pass any stat aside from speed, we can pass speed by itself, we can pass any combination of stats except from speed, so being able to potentially baton pass a curse into like, I don't know, like a white herb crowbat or something like that could be really, really cool. Um, other than that, I want to just double check, nothing down here, last resort, muddy water, being able to mess around with accuracy can always be really, really nice. Um, Synchro noise if I'm feeling really really risky it can toss off yawns as well It can set up its own with work up so just some just some just some uh, some stuff about Vaporeon Typically a more defensive mod, but it can it does have 110 base special attack So even if it's forced into a more defensive role, it's still tossing off some pretty big scalds and some, maybe some tech hidden powers or an ice beam as well um, Again, <clears throat> I so now I have pretty much completed my defensive core uh, anything else on that is top is gravy on top uh, Registeel pride the Registeel is here um Pure Steel type Pokemon tops off my Fairy Steel Dragon Core very, very nicely. Appreciates the wish support from Vaporeon because it does have base 80 HP, which is like pretty good, but 130 base HP coming off of Vaporeon is much better because we are just whoop, getting all that HP back to Registeel, which has no reliable recovery. But um, it does have great natural bulk, um, 150 in both defenses, 80 in HP, 75 in attack, isn't too, nothing too much. Um, I brought Ice Punch up here just to show that it can abuse like ICMZ if need be. Um, but we can take a look at it. Typically, it's more of a more of a specially defensive role with like a wall type Pokemon because Earthquake and Close Combat and Flare Blitz and stuff. So typically, it holds those special hits just a little bit better, just to be a good fairy check as well. Things like Rocks, things like Thunder Wave. You guys can see its offensive power right here. It can go Boom. It can go Earthquake. It can go for Hammer Arm. It can go for Iron Head. It can Power Punch. It can Protect. It can Nest. It can set up with a Rock Polish as well. Rock Slide. Seismic Toss is pretty common on this thing. <clears throat> Being able to stealth rock, like I said, it can go for Thunder Waves and it can toss off Toxics as well. Nothing too crazy here about Registeel. It does what it needs to do. I've lost to Registeel so much in the past that I was like, I'm going to draft Registeel. So, uh, Bronzong, I believe, was still on the board at the time, but I've had much more success dealing with Bronzong than I have Registeel. So, I wanted to go with this, and I think it provides great bulk to the team. I think I need you to find me a team that breaks through Tangrowth, Vaporeon, and Registeel. I can honestly bring those three <clears throat> every week. And we are just good to go. Next up here, we have High Roller the Crobat. Crobat is a super fast Pokemon. It's got 130 base speed. Um, on there, it does have Haze, so you can see that it can abuse the ICMZ Haze. Just in case I need some quick recovery, I can recover back up to full. It's got, <clears throat> it is weak to rocks. However, it does have great, uh, great natural resistances to some typings. With poison and Flying that our team didn't really deal with too well to begin with. Um, inner Focus and Infiltrator. Inner Focus, I can't flinch. Infiltrator, I go through Substitutes and Reflex and Light Screens and all that fun stuff. So we can take a look at it here. Typically with a Pokemon like this, um, I really like it because it's a fast defogger. Um, the only hazard removal that I had at the time was Magic Bounce through Deancey. And if Deancey was down, Hazards got there. So fast hazard removal is really cool. It also is a fast Taunt user too. Um, it can go for thin moves like Acrobatics. Brave Bird obviously is the number one go-to. Um, like I said, Fast Defogger is cool. You can run like a Nasty Plot Crobat set with moves like Giga Drain and Heat Wave as well. Leech Life did get a little bit of a buff right there. It can be a Pursuit user as well, which is really cool. Um, reliable Recovery and Roost, like I said, you can run like a Nasty Plot set with Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, things like that. Super Fang is really cool. Um, potentially is like a Max HP, Max Speed set being like a utility to Super Fang things, taunt them, Toxic them, and wear them down. Um, <clears throat> it can set up Tailwind for some of our slower Pokemon. It can also set up a Tailwind for something like Kieran Black, which is really cool. Um, U-Turn Momentum. So now not only do we have Baton Pass with Vaporeon, but we also have U-Turn with Crobat, which is really, really nice. Whirlwind for phasing things out. If we do get, like, rocks up, if we do get, you know, any other form of hazards up, we are able to go for Whirlwind and phase those things out. Or even just phase out some, like, stronger Pokemon that might be setting up in front of us. X-Scissor and Zen Headbutt are some other niche moves that are on there as well. I don't believe there's anything else down here that, like, Cross Poison, like, maybe, like, for some nice Poison Stab. Mean Look, trapping Pokemon with Crobat. Hello? Tell me I'm not real. Um... But yeah, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Venom Drench lowers the attack, special attack, and speed of poison foes by one. So if we get a Toxic Off, we can go for Venom Drench. That's pretty niche. I don't know. Like I said, um, it's pretty standard. Nothing too crazy to talk about with it. It has some, it can be like a bulky pivot. It can be a fast offensive threat. And in some cases, it can also be like a special 
Pokemon with Nasty Plot. Um, typically like Black Sludge, uh, Choice Band, maybe like an Expert Belt. Um, things like that can be ran on it. Um, my entire team got Volt Switched all over and I needed a Ground Type Pokemon, so that did not happen. I have plenty of Ice Resists. And yeah, here's Darkwing the Gligar. Gligar is pretty cool. It's got some cool abilities. Hypercutter, uh, you can't lower my attack stage, so Intimidate users don't work. Sand Veil, if the Sandstorm's up, my my evasiveness is increased by 25%. Um, and Immunity, I can't be poisoned. So typically Hypercutter or Immunity will be ran, just in those cases right here. Um, it's got some pretty good bulk, 105 defense, 65 special defense, and 65 HP. But one of the cool things about Gligar is that it does have access to Eevee Light, which increases my defenses by an extra 50%. So that's something cool to know. Um, we can take a look at some of its movesets right here. Aqua Tail, it can baton pass, which is really, really cool. It's another defogger. It takes uh, it takes defog pressure off of uh, Crobat as well. Um, something to note that I like about Crobat and Gligar is that while they are both weak to ice, um, I I do not have that same electric immunity with Crobat, nor do I have the water immunity, or I do not. I, I have an electric immunity for a Crobat, and I even though this is weak to water, I have one, two, three, four Pokemon that handle like those water moves very, very nicely. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, and go for knockoff. It does have Night Slash and Poison Jab. It can set up rocks as well. So now we have three rockers on the team just in case, like, Deancey doesn't want to run them, in case Registeel doesn't feel like a good fit to run rocks this week. We can run that. It does give reliable recovery and roost as well. Being able to go for Stone Edge, it can set up Swords Dance. It's another Tailwind setter, which is, again, really nice for Pokemon like Kieran Black, which might struggle with that as well. Um, it can also be a Taunt user. It can U turn as well. So now we have three Pokemon that can kind of pivot around on our team, which is very, very nice. Um, there are builds of Gligar with Eevee Light that can handle a lot of offensive HP ice, and that and they win and can return can go for slow U-turns. Um, and even like a base speed of 85, that's still like a that's like a decent speed U-turn because a lot of the wall Pokemon aren't really going to want to run max speed. So if we can run something like that with Eevee Light and have a little bit more of a faster pivot, that is pretty, pretty cool. So um, coming back around, Tier 5s needed to be grabbed. And I always, like Tier 5, like Zebstrika, Pillaswine always come to mind. Like those are my immediate go-tos in Tier 5 right on. Um, I want to go with something different this time. We have Grave Rave, the Spirit Tomb here. Grave Rave is really cool. Grave Rave has the Pressure or the Infiltrator ability. Uh, pressure, obviously, making the... If the t if this Pokemon is a target of a foe's move, that move loses one additional PP, which is really, really cool. Um, or Infiltrator. Again, we're going through subs, we're going through screens, all that good stuff. I have right here, it can go for like a Z Icy Wind, something like that, just as something to, you know, kind of handle that but uh ghost and dark typing is really really nice we were lacking both of those typings on our team um it's got great natural bulk 108 in both defense and special defense again that base 50 hp similar to mega Deancey, hurts but our only weakness is fairy so that is something else to consider um we can take a look at some of the stuff right here it can set up with moves like calm mind it does have access to destiny bond which is also pretty cool um dark pulse it can disable it can go for foul plays which is pretty common gets access to memento which allows other of our pokemon for setup such as maybe like a Calm Mind Deancey, or just bringing in something like Kieran Black to force a switch. Um, it can set up a Nasty Plots. It gets recovery through Pain Split. Go for Psychics. It's a great Pursuit Trapper for Pokemon like, you know, your Gengars, your other Psychic-type Pokemon as well that might not want to deal with this. Um, Shadow Ball, Priority, and Shadow Sneak, and Sucker Punch. It's a Taunt user. It's a Toxic user. It's a Trick abuser, and it also gets Will-O-Wisp. So I really like this. It's some nice supportive glue for the team. It does help out with Psychic-type Pokemon that could otherwise potentially plague our team. Um, our bulk does allow us to take certain Fairy-type moves and then go for moves like Pursuit and return we can also uh trap pokemon with pursuit that might not otherwise appreciate it so i really like it um it still flushes out my speed tiers we've got a really really slow pokemon right here but i think it's pretty cool because our next pokemon is going to be really really fast thor the raikou thor is here um the, the fact that i got round nine raikou just absolutely blows my mind absolutely blows my mind um great 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 electric type pokemon super fast 115 base speed um i believe the second fastest pokemon on our team next to crobat so now we have 130 with crobat 115 with raikou 110 with deancey 95 with Kiram. We've got great speed tiers. Um, Raikou does some really, really cool stuff. It has access to Aura Sphere. It has access to set up through Calm Mind, Discharge, Extra Sensory. Um, it does get extreme speed, um, but it 85 base attack, so I don't know how often I'll run that. But um can set up screens as well. Light Screen and Reflect. Raikou can be very, very nice. It can phase things out with Roar, Shadow Bolt, Signal Beam, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Toxic. Volt Switch is really, really nice. So now we have a lot of Pokemon on our team that do allow a lot of pivot momentum, which really kind of benefits my play style, I feel like. And other moves, we can see we've got Charge Beam here. It's got a 70% chance raise to use our to raise our special attack, which can be very, very nice. Um, magnet Rise as well, a fast Magnet Rise in front of a ground type Pokemon can be pretty, pretty cool. Um, Thunders, Weather Ball, Zap Cannon, Throat Chop, I guess, if need be. 
but just things like that. Does what I need it to do. It needs to be a fast pivot. It needs to have a few coverage moves on there, and it needs to have the option to be faster and hit very, very hard. Because once you know your 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 steel t or once your electric types and you know your ground types and like all your other resistances are gone, Raikou's got 115 base special attack. I just start clicking Thunderbolt a lot, and things like that happen. Um, Call Mind is also a set sub Call Mind with leftovers. It abuses items like Life Orb, Choice Specs, Choice Scarf as well, things like that. Uh, next up here, Tootsie, the Licky Licky. She's wonderful. I love her because I wanted more bulk now. Because now I've got Tangrowth, Vaporeon, Registeel, uh, Gligar in a sense. And now we have Tootsie, the Licky Licky. So she's wonderful. I love her. She has Own Tempo, Oblivious, and Cloud9. Cloud9 erases. There was two weather teams drafted. I believe Duncan Knee Deep and Wolf Glick drafted Rain and the Sand respectively. So um, Cloud9 is pretty cool. Oblivious is also really cool. And own tempo is pretty niche as well. We can see the four moves right here that it can potentially abuse with ICMZ, ICMZ Blizzard, Ice Beam, Ice Punch, or Icy Wind. Typically something like Blizzard or Ice Punch, probably. Um, great, great bulk overall. 110 base HP, 85 base attack, 80 base special attack, 95 base defense and special defense, and 50 base speed. So some things to note about Licky Licky. Um, this does give me another cleric, and this gives me another wish passer. So now I have two wish passers. So that way Vaporeon isn't always locked into the wish protect baton pass roll um this thing does not get baton pass but it does get some other really cool moves it can phase things out with dragon sail earthquake explosion stab body slams are always really cool facade is pretty cool as well being able to go for gyro ball uh with our low speed stat can be pretty nice as well like i said a heal bell user also gets knock off power up punch power whip and get refreshed just in case i don't feel like running heal bell on myself um i can set up with swords dance it can go for moves like surf thunderbolt thunder punch toxic like i said a wish setter as well it can also go for moves like belly drum it can go for belch um, it can block, target cannot switch out, so we can go for that. Counter can be pretty nice. Setting up with curse can also be really nice as well. Just things like that 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 um that this thing can definitely definitely abuse. Uh, rock climb as well. Return, like I said, smelling salts. If the target is paralyzed and it cures it, that's actually thunder wave smelling salts might actually be. Like I said, tell me I'm not real, but a um, little bit more bulk. Uh, we have a fighting immunity and several resists on our team right now, which is really, really nice. So I thought this paired together very, very nicely as like a last round pick. Um, really good coverage, really good support for the team. I think it's really, really cool. Last Pokemon that we needed, um, I needed a fire type because we have a great fire, water, grass core potentially with Tangrowth and Vaporeon. Um, so there was like, r I think there was Rapidash. There was Moltres, there was like Mega Mortar, things like that. Um, I went with Talonflame. I went with Fox here. Um, Talonflame is pretty cool. It got the Gale Wings nerf, which is unfortunate, but uh, I still have 126 base speed, so I, people still need to prepare for that. Um, we can take a little bit of its moveset right here. Acrobatics can be potentially really, really nice. A Brave Bird, it can set up with a bulk up. It does have access to Defog, so now we do have a lot of Defog potential on our team. Um, flame charge can be pretty pretty nice for setting up our speed just in case uh, Home claws setting up as well being able to go for like some special moves like overheat and stuff 74 base special attack isn't anything too crazy But then again base 81 special or er, regular attack nothing too wild coming off those moves So we can really run like a mix set being able to set up with swords dance a fast tailwind can be very very nice as like a late game answer And again another fast taunt user similar to crowbat it can u-turn it can also get willow wisp support willow wisp support as well so um, even with its nerf in gen 7 um while Gale Wings wasn't as good as it once was, I can still bring this thing in without hazards and click Brave Bird. I can bring Choice Banded Town Flame every week. I can, you know, just things like that just because of its natural speed stat and because of its typing, depending on that. You know, we do have a Magic Bouncer. Now we do have three defoggers on the team to prevent those rocks and hazards from getting up. So I really like the squad. I really think this uh, this team suits my play style a lot. I think we have some great cores. Um... And I think we have the potential to go big in WBE. So uh, I'm going to leave this right here, guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the team in the comment section down below. Of course, if you guys are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Next week on Friday will be our first team builder. We're going up against my boy, Envy, and the San Diego Chim Chargers. I love Envy. He's a great battler. I'm looking forward to the matchup, and I hope you guys are too. All that being said, I'm going to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Later. <laughs>